This video will describe a simple method for installing the Bali roller shades with the optional cassette valance. And you can see in the instructions that it starts with the letter A, which is not at the beginning of the instructions. Hopefully you won't really need the instructions with this video, but if you do reference the instructions, be sure to start <clears throat> with the cassette. Okay, so the look that I'm going for is to get this nice bump uh, flush with the face of the window trail. And you can see on the other side here, I've got that lined up very nicely with the woodwork where I wanted it. Um, you can see I, I, I could have gone out to the, the next level if I wanted to, but this is where I wanted it. So the instructions do not tell you how to measure for that distance. So that's what we're gonna get into right now. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab um, a shade and grab a clip and you'll see these clips, the bent part goes towards the back of the shade and the flat part goes on the top of the shade. And I wanna say something about these clips. Um, with the first window, the clips were too stiff and I had a very, very difficult time pushing them in. And, um, you know, I lift weights, so this is, this is uh, quite a bit of force that can be required. Now, this wasn't true on the second window, but it may be that if you're having a really tough time pushing these in, you may want to figure out a way to bend that bent part of the clip, bend that back just a little bit so that you're not fighting with these things to get the uh, shade actually mounted after the brackets are up. Okay, so to determine this distance, this inset for the bracket, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and take the curved part of the bracket, put it on the back, and we're gonna wanna put the flat part on the top, and we're gonna lock that in. And then we're gonna grab a tape measure, and we're gonna measure, so I want, I want this corner right here to be flush with my woodwork. So I need to measure the distance from the back of the bracket to that bump in the front. And you can see on this shade, that's three and a quarter inches. So now we know that we're gonna mark back from the face of the window three and a quarter inches. So put the bracket up there and run a little square marker, a pencil marker, marker um, back at three and a quarter inches. And then once you've got that, um, you're going to want to go ahead and mark two holes for the uh, screws. Now I do want to say that you want to be sure and inset this. The instructions say two inches. I'm, you know, at least two inches, I would go in three. There's really nothing different anywhere um, that really, the, that the distance really matters that much, but get it away from at least two inches from the edge, um, maybe three inches in might work a little bit better. Now in this particular window, um, these brackets are coming off pretty easily. So with two hands, you're gonna wanna press that in and you can see that's gonna, release that top uh, clip, but you're gonna have to get in and with a second hand and gently um, lift that up. Okay, so I think that um, that should be the instructions that you need. I decided not to put the little clip in my woodwork over here. I just, I don't know, I don't need it. Um, I think if you have small kids, you might want to use that. They, they say these chains are a choking hazard, so you'd be mindful of that. But there you have it, um, a nice flush 
installation of the uh, roller blind with the cassette.